fellow high school students. The College Board has released a list of 101 books you should read before you leave high school. I'm here to let you know about one of the books on the list from the author of The Scarlet Letter, Nathaniel Hawthorne. The book is entitled The House of the Seven Gables. Hawthorne was born in Salem, Massachusetts, which is famous for its witch trials of 1962 and 3, and his upbringing has clearly influenced the supernatural element of this novel. Many classics that are encouraged to be read are rather boring, dried out, and all hard to understand. But this gothic romance tale is far from so. The book is set in a small New England town during the 1600s. A small farmer by the name of Matthew Mall, who is betrayed and accused of witchcraft by a land greedy man, is executed. After building a new house with seven gables on the deceased man's property, Colonel Sycheon dies of sudden death in his own study. Generations of troubled Sycheons later, we are brought back to the still ghostly home and introduced to a new generation containing Hepzibah, Clifford, Phoebe, and Judge Sycheon, along with Holgrave, all descendants of the two men who started it all. In this house, the portraits have wandering eyes, and Sycheon ghosts roam the halls from time to time. Will Holgrave's stories of hidden family treasures alter Phoebe's optimistic and lovable attitude? Will Clifford, an ex-con, and Hepzibah, an emotionally scarred woman with a horrid scowl, ever escape the bonds of the Seven Gables home and find true happiness? Will the judge finally get his fair drink of blood? The College Board has made an excellent selection of books, and The House of the Seven Gables is one of them. It is a perfect example of classic literature that opens the door to old New England, providing spine-chilling entertainment for the teenage reader. Why pass up an opportunity to read a book based on family heritage, greed, societal values, and supernatural practices? Read The House of the Seven Gables by Nathaniel Hawthorne before you leave high school.